Oilers hosting the Flyers, and the Flyers are plus 160 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 194. The over-under, six and a half goals. The Flyers getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 144, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two goals or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. It's supposed to be Hart and Skinner. Neither goaltender has been confirmed, and they played each other once already this year in Philly, and the Flyers won that game 4-1. to one. The Flyers play a game that the Oilers do not. They play defense, and the Flyers are fifth in the NHL and block shots. So keep that in mind. They sacrifice the body. I understand that the Oilers just absolutely owned the Ducks last night, but the Ducks are the Ducks, and the Flyers are the Flyers. Head to head, the Flyers are six and four. The home team's on a three-game winning streak. The home team is seven and three. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is six and four. There have been three one-goal games in their last ten. The under is hitting their last four. The under is six and four in their last ten, and the under six and a half goals is seven and three. The Flyers are one and four in their last five. There was a total of thirteen goals, five goals, three goals, and seven goals. Six goals in a shootout loss, four goals in a win, one goal in an overtime loss, and then three goals in a loss. For the Oilers, they are on a five-game winning streak. There were seven goals, five goals, five goals, and nine goals. They scored four goals in a win, five goals in a win, three goals in a win, and then seven goals in a win. And that was one of those rare games where they score three goals and actually win the game. But they were down 2 nothing in that game and came back and beat the Kings in a shootout. I understand that the... The Flyers are struggling right now. I don't think this is an over kind of game. I'm going to take the Oilers on the money line. I'm going to take the Flyers getting the goals, and I'm going to go under. I think the Flyers, the Oilers rolling right now and catching the Flyers at a bad time might be the reason why, but I don't know if they're going to be able to beat them by two unless the empty net goal. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.